Spider-Man to the edge of the universe. That's exactly where they pushing black people to the edge of the universe. Miles Morales, dark skinned Latino. Black Panther 2 was about what? The Latinos coming to Wakanda, destroying Wakanda, taking over Wakanda. And that's exactly what's happening. Mayor Brandon Johnson, Mayor Eric Adams, it's not too late to stand up for your people. I want you two brothers to go live and tell President Biden, I will not steal from my black constituents to take care of your migrants. I'm telling you, they know you're not going to vote for them because they haven't done anything for you. They know you're not going to vote for them because they haven't done anything. So guess what they're going to do? No black vote, no black problem. No black vote. No black problem. No black vote. No black problem. We have the migrant voters. We have the migrant voters. We don't need the black vote no more. We don't need the black vote no more. We've already used the Congressional Black Caucus. We've already used the Congressional Black Caucus. We've already used the Congressional Black Caucus to exploit the black vote long enough for us to replace these Negroes with the Latino migrants. Oh, yes. And you wonder why Spider-Man was a dark-skinned Latino. Oh, yes. Spider-Man to the edge of the universe. That's exactly where they pushing black people to the edge of the universe. Miles Morales, dark skin Latino, Miles Morales, dark skin. No disrespect to my Latino Africans. You are family. No disrespect to my Latino Africans. You are family. No disrespect to my Latino Africans. I'm talking about the anti-African Latinos who are now being brought into black America to purge us out of political power, numerical power, social programs, and policy. Uh-huh. Now, I want you to go back and watch that horrible film called Wakanda Forever. Now, I want every American African to go back and watch that horrible film, Wakanda Forever. Because now, when you watch Black Panther 2, you're going to know exactly what I was talking about when I did my Black Panther 2 analysis. Black Panther 2 was about what? Black Panther 2 was about what? Black Panther 2 was about what? Latinos destroying and taking over Wakanda. Black Panther 2 was about what? The Latinos coming to Wakanda, destroying Wakanda, taking over Wakanda. And that's exactly what's happening in New York, Chicago, Philadelphia, Houston. And I even heard that they bring in migrants to Atlanta. Where my Atlanta Africans at? Where my Atlanta Georgia Africans at? Y'all better get ready, Atlanta, because they about to bust up black power in Atlanta. They about to bust up the black population in Atlanta. They about to steal all the black programs in Atlanta and give it to the migrants. Everywhere there's black power, everywhere there is a strong black population, you're going to be bust up with the migrants. Uh-huh. And now, and now, and now, since there's going to be more Latinos than black people, since there's going to be more Latinos than black people, since there's going to be more Latinos than black people, they don't even have to include us no more when they talk about national resources and national distribution. The U.S. Census the U.S. Census, that don't even matter no more. It's white, Hispanic, gay, and immigrants. I'm sorry, whites, Asians, 
Hispanics, gays, and immigrants. Whites, Asians, Hispanics, rainbows, and immigrants. Black people don't even matter. See, the rainbow flag does not include the color black. That was a metaphor the whole time. There's no black on there. All these groups have been working together to displace and replace American Africans. All these groups have been working together. Asians, Caucasians, rainbow gangers, Latinos, and now immigrants. And they have perfected the plan. Mayor Brandon Johnson, Mayor Eric Adams, it's not too late to stand up for your people. Mayor Brandon Johnson, Mayor Eric Adams, it's not too late to stand up for your people. I want you two brothers to go live and tell President Biden, I will not steal from my black constituents to take care of your migrants. I will not steal from my black constituents to take care of your migrants. Black people elected me to be their mayor. I have no right to steal their money. I have no right to steal from black people and give it to anti-black Latino migrants. I cannot do that. I will not do that. I have 50,000 homeless black people in my city. I have millions of unemployed black people in my city. There's no way I'm going to steal black people's money and give it to anti-black Latino migrants. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. And let me say this to you, brothers and sisters, as I close out. Let me say this as I close out. We must be properly armed. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. Chicago in New York, Philadelphia, Atlanta, Houston, Texas, all places that have been targeted by Latino takeovers of the black community. All black cities that have been targeted for migrant takeover by the U.S. government, you must be properly armed. And the reason you must be properly armed, God forbid, these anti-African migrants provoke a confrontation between us and them. I pray it don't happen. I pray it doesn't happen. I hope it never comes to pass. But these people that they are bringing into our community are anti-black. They are anti-black. I don't want you starting trouble with them. The enemy is the power structure, not them. But they are anti-black. So we need to be very careful around them. We need to keep our children away from them. And make sure you are prepared in case they decide to attack our community. We must be prepared. I hope it don't happen. I hope it don't happen. But the way that they pumping those migrants into New York, 61,000, 61,000 in New York. Chicago got 8,000 in about a month. And they got more buses headed to New York and Chicago. Philadelphia got 900 and they bring in more. My Philadelphia Africans, we must be organized. My Philadelphia Africans, we must be organized. Because if you think for one minute, if those migrants attack us, the police will not defend us. If those migrants attack us, the police will not defend us. We must be ready, brothers and sisters. Like I said, I hope that doesn't happen. I'm going to ask the most high God to not let it happen. But if it happens, we need to be organized. And let me say this to all the gangbangers in black America. Let me say this to all the black gangbangers. I'm talking to all of you. Many of you support my work. I've heard from many of you through the years. I need the leaders of all the black gangs in America, Chicago gangs, 
Los Angeles gangs, New York gangs, Philadelphia gangs, all the gangs, y'all have to organize and politicize yourself. You can no longer be an enemy to your community. We are at war for our survival and we need the gangs to start looking out for the black community like y'all used to when you were first created. We need all the gangs in the black community to start defending, protecting, and looking out for the black community because most of you were founded to protect the black community, not to hurt the black community. We're going to need everybody. We are going to need everybody. We are going to need everybody. It is a war on black America. They hitting us with diseases. They kidnapping our women. They killing off our elders. They shooting our women and children through the door. They got Chinese people killing black kids in the back. And we still don't have any anti-black hate crimes law. President Joe Biden, where is the anti-black hate crimes law? President Joe Biden, where is the anti-black hate crimes law? Kamala Harris, where is the anti-black hate crimes law? Where is it? Because you're not going to charge that snow bunny who killed AJ with federal hate crimes law. Y'all not going to charge her with the Emmett Till anti-lynching bill. Y'all not going to charge that Asian with the Emmett Till anti-lynching bill. Y'all not going to charge Rick Child with the federal hate crimes. Y'all not going to charge, what's his name, Andrew Lester, who shot Brother Ralph in the head in Kansas City. Y'all not going to charge them with an anti Black hate crimes. We need black legislation to protect black life. You got 100 point anti-Semite bill. 100 ways to stop anti-Semitism. 100 ways to stop anti-Semitism. And you ain't got a single law against anti-black racism. The Emmett Till anti-lynching bill is weak. It has no teeth. It's multicultural. The federal hate crimes bill is weak. It has no teeth. It's multicultural. We need an anti-black hate crimes bill. Where is President Joe Biden? Where is the Congressional Black Caucus? Where is President Joe Biden? Where is the Congressional Black Caucus? Where is the NAACP? Where is the Urban League? Brothers and sisters, we are at war. I really don't know what y'all voting for next November. I really don't know. I really, I, I need a black person to give me, can somebody please tell me? Black people are voting for what? November 2024, help me out. I need somebody to tell me why I should go vote. In November 2024. Somebody help me out. We are being replaced in front of our face, brothers and sisters. We are being replaced in front of our face. I have to run. Brockton, Massachusetts, I will see you tonight. I have to run. Brockton, Massachusetts, I will see you tonight. Doors at five, lecture at six, book signing at eight. Tonight in Brockton, we will be at 340 Warren Avenue. 340 Warren Avenue in Brockton. If you want the flyer, text my cell phone. Philadelphia tomorrow, we will be at 2301 Snyder Avenue. Philadelphia tomorrow, we will be at 321, excuse me, 2301. 2301 Snyder Avenue in Philadelphia tomorrow, free, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock lecture, 8 o'clock book signing in Huntsville, Alabama. I will see you Sunday, June 11th, 181 Import Circle Northwest in Huntsville, Alabama. If you need to fly or text my cell, 215-989-9858, 215-989-9858. But please remember the words of the most honorable Frederick Douglass. Please remember the words of the most honorable Frederick Douglass, who said, if there is no struggle, there is no progress. Power concedes nothing without a demand. It never did and it never will. The limits of tyrants is prescribed by the people who they oppress. 
If black people want to get free of oppression, we must pay for that freedom. We may pay with our words, we may pay with our lives, we may pay with our blood, but we must fight. No struggle, no progress, black America. No struggle, no progress, black America. It's not vote or die. It's organize or die. It's not vote or die. It's organize or die. It's not vote or die. It's organize or die. Hit my phone, 215-989-9858, 215-989-9858. International Africans at me on WhatsApp. International Africans at me on WhatsApp. International Africans at me on WhatsApp, 215-989-9858. I will not be staying here tonight. I will not be staying here tonight. Confidentiality has been breached. Peace and pan-Africanism.